it's all pre-taped. Hello, I'm Diane Kresh, Director of Arlington Public Library, and welcome to another episode of Live from Diane's Living Room. We're not live, but we are local, and today I have the pleasure of interviewing Dorothy Woods, who is a middle schooler at Swanson Junior High, and um, welcome, Dorothy. Glad to see you. Yeah, it's great to be here. And thank you for making time. Uh, so over the next couple of episodes, we're gonna be talking to APS, uh, both students and uh, a couple of administrators about what it's been like in the pandemic. But before we even do the pandemic, when are you gonna be going back to school? Uh, next Thursday. Next Thursday. And uh, on a scale of one to 10, how excited are you about that? About an eight. A lot of my friends aren't going back, but I'm gonna. I'm really glad to see the ones that are. Okay, and and so when going going back, I, I don't have students in APS anymore. So what does that really mean? Is that a hybrid? Is that full time in the classroom? What what does that actually mean? Um, it's hybrid. Like it's we're gonna be there, but like some of our teachers won't be, and so we'll be like on Zoom calls with our teachers, even if they're not there. Uh huh. And if they and are, like the call will be like up on the whiteboard, or, and we'll be able to like see people. I think. So th there will be actually students physically in a classroom, mm -hmm. and how many? I'm not really sure because I don't know like the exact number of kids going back, but I'm okay. like, I think it's like only ten people are allowed in a classroom, maybe a little bit more, but okay, eleven with the teacher. I think I think that's what my homeroom teacher told me. And do you have to be behind plexiglass or do you just wear your, okay, you are? I think, yeah, at least definitely in the lunchroom we are with the plexiglass, but I'm not sure if we are in each classroom. Okay. And do you have to wear masks throughout the day or, okay. Yeah. And what about lunch? Do you go to the cafeteria or do you have to eat outside or? Well, if it's nice out, I think my mom told me what they were doing is that we're, they're splitting like the grade in half. And so like one half of the grade will be outside for half of lunch. Okay. And the other will be inside sitting at like isolated desks behind plexiglass. Okay. We'll be able to like take off our masks and eat, and then we'll have to go back to, um, and then we'll get to go outside for like the second half of lunch. Okay. Okay. So this has been a pretty unusual year um, coming up on, I don't know, mid-March of last year, all of a sudden everything closed. So let's, let's talk a little bit about what that felt like. And a year ago at this time, what was going on with you a year ago at this time? Well, I thought I was, my friends and I were all really, really excited because we thought we were just getting like a two week break from school. Uh huh. And then we all like, and then like, it was just because our teachers didn't really know what to do. So we could, we can't, we basically just got like free days all the time. Uh huh. Cause they weren't sure like how to give us work yet. So we got, we got like a little bit of work and then we got to spend the rest of the day just like doing whatever we wanted. Mm hmm which was really fun, but it was also like really depressing because we then like realized later on that we wouldn't, that like it wasn't ever going to be the same. Mm -hmm. At least for like not for a long time. Mm -hmm. So yeah. how did you end up uh, finishing out the school year? I mean, you still, they, they, they resumed some kind of classes at some point, right? Kind of. My teachers had like office hours where you go and like see them and stuff. Oh, okay. Or like ask them questions about the work that they had signed, but they, it was basically, they just gave us work and we did it. So like workbook kind of stuff? Yeah. Like 10 math problems or something. Okay. Or like read an article and like analyze it for like. Okay. Minutes. Okay. Um, was that tough to be interested in? Was that hard? It was hard because it was like, I didn't know how to use like my iPad. Uh -huh. As we didn't really use them at school. Right. We, we went just from like doing most of our assignments on paper to like doing everything online. Yeah, so that's hard. hard. And so, and how did the schools provide training or did they? I don't think I ever went to one of these, but I'm pretty sure the counselor was holding like things where like the students could talk to her about what was going on. Uh huh. But I'm not sure about that. And I thought, and it was, we didn't really get like any preparation. Mm -hmm. they were right. just like you're online school now have fun and <laughs> just to like our own work yeah 
Yeah, that 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 probably would not have worked for me very well. For, for one thing, I'm not very good with technology. I mean, I'm okay, mm -hmm. but uh, and of course, when I was a kid going to Tuckahoe, you were at Tuckahoe, right? When this all happened. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, we were still still writing things up on the chalkboard and uh, erasing them. So it was a completely different environment. So, yeah. um, but, and and how about friends? Like, did, did you know, I, you obviously missed your friends, right? Yeah, I had like a group of friends at Swanson who I was decently close with. And I just, I stopped talking to all of them. Oh. But um, yeah, so I didn't, I barely got to see, I never got to see them. I did get to see a lot of my friends that like went to that go to Williamsburg, uh -huh. which was nice because like they were also online, so I could see them a lot, which was good. And I ended up making like new friends too. Uh huh. So so let's talk about that. Is it hard to make new friends in this environment where mu much of it is virtual, unless kids are in your neighborhood? How how hard is that? Um, it was pretty hard. It's, it's harder to like connect with people now because when you're hanging out with people, it's harder to meet new people because you're not like doing like extracurricular activities. Uh-huh, right. And you're always like behind a mask too if you are, you are with other people. Yeah. And so it's like harder to, to connect with people because you don't really know what they look like or anything. Yes, that is so hard. Um, Westover Library is open today and people were coming up to me and saying, oh, the library director is here and I can didn't know who they were because they were either wearing sunglasses and a hat and mask. And mm -hmm. it would take me a minute or, or so to, oh, I know who this is. But it's still um, a very, even after a year, it's still a very jarring, jarring experience. So yeah. now, didn't you used to play travel soccer or something like that? Yeah, that was, I stopped playing that before this all happened. Okay, so that didn't affect that. It, that it did. I, I do play on a rec team. Uh huh. Like with a lot of my friends, and like our spring season got canceled, which was like kind of upsetting for a lot of us because we were all really excited to go. Like out, we were like, we all thought we were gonna go play because we'd be able to. Uh huh. And then this like happened, and it didn't happen. We were right. able to have a fall season though, which was really good. So, um, all right, well, so you're going back to school next week and you've been Zooming and all that kind of thing since basically last March or iPad or whatever. How have you been able to keep motivated, like really interested in your classes and what you're learning or has that been a problem? It was harder, it was harder um, this year because last year we, were, we didn't really learn anything new. Uh -huh. And so it was kind of hard to like be interested in stuff, especially like this year where there were like, my teachers were always having problems because they didn't really know how to work stuff. So we didn't really learn a lot for a while. And then we started like learning and it got like more interesting. Yeah. Do you have a favorite, favorite subject in school? Yeah. Um, I really like my Latin class. Ah, uh, okay. And you like Latin because... I don't really know. I just, it's like, it's fun to learn. I'm a really fun teacher and she's like, she's good at what she does and she like knows Latin a lot. And so we're like learning, we're like really learning Latin. Okay. Now what is fun about Latin is that the roots of so many words are in Latin. So yeah. really a good foundation for if you wanted to be an English major or a literature major, it's really fun. And we do, we do do like derivative as a word all the time. And she'll like, Sometimes she'll like, if we're learning a new word, she'll have us try to guess what words come from it. Oh, fun. Okay, good. Okay. So back to Latin. Um, how about like, is that something you would want to continue studying Latin and then maybe move on to Greek or something like that? Yeah. Yeah. Cause I plan to do, I plan to take Latin like through high school. Oh, awesome. That's really great. And how did you get the idea to take it? Did your parents say, Hey, this would be a really cool thing for you to do. Or is that all your I, own idea? I, I take French like outside of school. Okay. Like with a teacher, which I did last year too. And like, I'd been doing it since first grade and I didn't really want to take intro to French because I already knew like quite a bit of French. Uh-huh. So it wasn't really worth my time. They don't let like sixth graders take um, French one. And so I was just like, hey, let's take Latin. Be really fun. Good for and you. I did. I'm, now I'm taking it. Good for you.
Now, I know that you're a really big reader and you've always been a really big reader. So um, the library has been closed, but how are you able to, or were you able to get books from the library while we were closed? Well, like my mom would put stuff on hold and I'd be able to go and get stuff, which I did a couple times, but like there was a book I like specifically wanted to read and yeah. I read it, even though my mom had it on hold for like three months. Oh my gosh. What book was that? Um, it's called Cinder. I, I have it now and I've read it, but that okay. was, it was a little bit frustrating, but I've been able, and then like my school library was open too. Oh, and, like opened, and, uh, opened um, at the beginning of the year. And so I've gotten books from there too. Okay. And so on average, um, how many books are you able to, to read in say a month? Um, five or six. Wow. If I'm getting that's, like new books. That's a lot. Yeah. And sometimes like I also like read things online, like on e-reader, not on an e-reader, but like from like the school website. Okay. Okay. Like short stories and things or longer no, books? No, you can like on eBooks. Oh, okay. All right. And um, you probably know about the library's Libby service, which is eBooks and audio. You should ask your mom about it. Yeah, she. I think she has that on her phone. Okay. Because Libby is the greatest and I've discovered audio books, which I never thought I would like because I like print and like to hold the book. But I take a lot of walks and I do a fair amount of driving and boy, audiobooks are the way to go, especially yeah. if the, the author is reading the book because that makes a huge difference. Yeah. When I was in elementary school, they, they, they had these little boxes and they would come, uh -huh. it was like a little cassette and headphones right. for books. And I read so many books that way when I was younger. Yeah. Especially when I had like trouble reading like big words when I was in like second grade. Uh-huh. Did you learn to read pretty early? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like by the end of kindergarten, I was reading chapter books. Oh, no kidding. Good for you. Yeah, I did not learn to read. The Magic Treehouse books. Oh, Magic Treehouse. My boys like those, especially my older one. Yeah, they're they're fun. And yeah. what do you like to read now? Fantasy or sci-fi? Or I like um, I like most genres of books. I don't really like historical fiction. It's not really my thing, but I really like, I like realistic fiction and I like fantasy a lot too. Okay. Okay. And do, do your teachers give you reading lists? Because when, when I was in school, they gave us reading lists. Not really. They did more last year. Like they gave us a book to read and then we read it and like did like an okay. essay on it, okay. which was really fun. But so if you, if you could be in charge of the school system for a second, what, what would be kind of like lessons learned of your experience as a student over this last year and, and what what you would hope the schools learned from how they manage things. Cause we all can, we all can do things a little differently or a little better. So have you, have you given that any thought about what might've been different? I also think like maybe they should have made it more accessible for students to get IT help. Cause you have to fill out this big form and then like you don't get like back to for a while. Right. And it was hard. It was also hard to get IT help like last year too. Yeah. And it was easier because you could go to the guy's office and talk to him about it. Right. Yeah. That that's that's hard. I don't think we all anticipated how much people would be dependent on yeah. technology, whether it was iPads or I also laptop. think they should have like a backup plan in in motion, like for teachers, because a lot a lot of the time my teachers like we missed this whole lesson because my teacher didn't we like none of us could, my teacher couldn't get into the lesson. Oh yeah. And there should be like backup plans for that. Yeah. That's a really good idea. Yeah. So and I also think we should get rid of asynchronous Mondays. You should, they should get rid of what? Asynchronous Mondays where they just give us a, a lot of work and we have to do it all. Oh, like, yeah. I don't even understand what, like, what are they trying? What is their goal with that? I don't know. I think it's because there's like a schedule for all the other days. I'm, I think it's also for like lesson planning. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm not really sure. And I kind of wish they just like gave us all of our classes that day, like okay. for like at school specifically, because it's, we have A and B days. Yeah. But it's like the work on asynchronous Mondays is really hard and it's kind of hard to like reach your teacher too. Oh, okay. All right. So, um, gosh, those are uh, some really good lessons learned. Um, 
I know you also like to write, right? Do you, do you do keep a diary or do you do a journal or anything like that? I like to free write. And right now I'm enrolled in like my school's literary magazine has like a slice of life challenge. Oh, nice. Which I've been doing for, it's like for this month. And so I've been doing it for like two weeks. I'm just writing like little stories, which I really like to do. So little stories about what's happening with, with your life, that kind of thing. Yeah. So it's wrote, not, my not current story is about, yeah, it, it's, um, it's like about your life. Okay. So it's kind of like, I did this, I did that. And okay. Mm -hmm. So let's fast forward a few years from now, you're going to look back on this period, right? And you're going to yeah. have some ideas about it. So just free association. Tell me what things you might think about this period. Say when you're in college, looking back and people say, oh yeah, the pandemic. Wow. Yeah. I mean, like what could have been handled differently or well, just how you maybe were emotionally or how you felt about things or what you did to make sure that you didn't get too down about it. Yeah, well, I I did do, like, if I'm looking back on it, I did do a lot of bike riding and I spent a lot of time outside. Okay. I wouldn't have done like ordinary because I would have been going to camps and all all of that, but I did, I did spend a lot of time outside. Uh-huh. Which was really good. And like, you, it gave everybody like a lot of time to do and learn new things. Okay, that was good, right? Mm -hmm. And how about, did you learn anything new about yourself uh, and how you cope with uncertainty or stress or, gee, I wonder if this is ever going to end? I mean, did you learn anything that, that you thought, oh, this, this, is, this is good for me to know and this is good for me to experience? Yeah, because like thinking back to school, <coughs> sorry, um, my throat is like scratching, but um, thinking back to school, it's like, it would be so much easier, like in person, you can go talk to your teacher about your grade. Mm -hmm. And like, I, when I can't do that, like where my teacher isn't responding or I can't like talk to her. Right. It really freaks me out. And like my stomach starts hurting. Yeah. Not great. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's been a, it's been a really tough year for everybody. Um, no matter what age you are or where you are, whether you're in a family or whether you're alone or whether you're a middle school or old person like me. Um, but I, I think that you are, you seem to be coping pretty well in spite of everything, right? I mean, you're, you're seeing friends, you're riding your bike, you're learning Latin, you're trying your best. And I think that's, pretty much all the rest of us can even do is take it a day at a time. So uh, with school starting next week, I hope it goes well for you, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. And I hope that you'll come to the library now that yeah. Westover is open um, because uh, it's really, we are so thrilled that we are open again. You, you, you can't imagine, um, it was absolutely no fun to feel that we just couldn't be in person. So you'll be able, as I said, to browse a little bit and you'll be able to check out books and yeah. somebody who reads five and six books a month runs out of books pretty quickly, yeah? Yeah. All right. But is so, the, just one question about the library, is the like teen, teen section still there? As far as I know, um, I saw a big sign that said teen corner when I came in here today. So I'm assuming that everything, I think it's just as you left it, except you can't hang out there for hours. No, you can't like, my friends and I sometimes would go and like do schoolwork there and like sit there. Yeah. Yeah, do so that. So we hope to be back doing that by the end of the calendar year. You know, people have to get vaccinated and all that kind of good stuff has to happen, but I'm hoping because that's important. People, people need to be with other people and we're trying our best to take it slow initially here, but then open it back up. So that's the goal. And you've got what, one more year at Swanson? Uh, after this year, yeah, I'll be in eighth grade. And okay, second. and then it'll be Yorktown, right? Yeah, but I'm gonna apply for W now. Oh. To, to do the language program. To do the IB program? My uh, son did the IB program 
he went to WNL. He was zoned for Yorktown, but I put him in WNL and did not regret it. It was the great, 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 great program. So I think you, particularly if you're interested in literature and Latin, you're going to do really well in it. Yeah, I'm going to try for that. I'm also going to apply to like the AP program at Yorktown too. Awesome. Those are great, great, great programs. Well, you are terrific. You're a great interviewee and I've enjoyed learning about what middle school is like. I was in middle school a million years ago. <laughs> very, very different. Uh, plus I wasn't going to school in the middle of a pandemic and trying to juggle all kinds of conflicts around that. So thank you for making time for me. Please say hello to your mom. Yeah, I will. And uh, I'm glad that you're gonna be going back to school. That's important and uh, stay safe, stay hopeful and uh, stay engaged, okay? Yeah, this was really fun. Thank you for inviting me to do this. I was thrilled that you were able to do it and we'll do it again, okay? Okay. All right, sounds good. All right, enjoy the rest of the afternoon. You too, bye. All right, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.